Hello everyone, Sick here. Today I'm going to teach you how to speedrun the mission keys on Legendary in under two minutes. First thing you're going to want to know is if you want the flood bump to spawn, what you're going to want to do is press start, go to restart mission, skip the cutscene real fast, then press start again, load the last checkpoint, and then go ahead and say yes. Once you are spawned back in, you're going to want to hold forward and melee at the same time, and that for some reason with the frames and how the coding works, wants to spawn the revivable flood. Once you have that sequence down, you just run to the end of the hallway. I recommend shooting the grunt. That way it guarantees the flood to follow you because if you don't kill the grunt, there's a chance that the flood will just turn around and not follow you. Once you have the flood following you, all you gotta do is go to the back corner of this and get trapped by the flood. Once you have this trapped, you go ahead and just crouch and jump over him. And then there's a second little thing on the wall that you're looking for. And I'll just go ahead and show you it here. You wanna look for this. And once you have it, that's when you know you're in the right spot. Then charge up your plasma pistol, shoot the flood in the face, and once it goes down, you're going to want to crouch on that same exact spot that you shot it, basically where the tentacles are coming out. And once you do that, it should bump you through the wall, and get. all you have to do next is just get over the containers. Now the containers can kind of trip you up, so what you want to do the containers is just walk forward a little bit and jump over them, kind of a running jump to get over them easily. After you get over the containers, you need to turn right, and once you are right, you need to get the checkpoint, but also go halfway down that corridor to make sure the enemy is spawned in the next section. Once you go to the next section, I like to charge up my plasma pistol, shoot the elite on the right, throw a grenade so it kills all those grunts, and then you're going to want to turn around to the left, throw a grenade on the flood, and make sure you grab the shotgun. Everything needs to die here. You turn right, shotgun the two, sometimes there's two, sometimes there's one needle flood, and then throw grenades at the two piles to the left and right, and then you're safe to go into the cutscene. So there's something important to note with this cutscene. You can die in this cutscene, but your killable character is actually right below this platform. So if your platform character dies in the cutscene, the one that's like we're watching right now, if they die, it's okay. It's the character underneath the platform that if they die, then you revert to the last checkpoint and you ruin your run. By the time you hit this platform, you should be a minute in. That saves a minute for the last part. And here's the thing to note, the first minute is actually very easy. It's the second minute that's awful and it takes a lot of practice to do. Thankfully, you get a checkpoint right after the cutscene so you can practice as many times as you need. Once you've killed all the flood, most likely you've picked up a plasma grenade. So whenever you open the door, throw a grenade as far as you can down the hallway. Try and stick one of the elites on the far end. Jump twice, jump over the first grunt, and then jump over that last elite and turn right down the hallway. Now this is the kind of gray area where you kind of play it conservative, play it, play it risky at the same time. Determine what your shields are, and if you need to grab that health pack, do it. I needed to do it in this run. I wanted to be safe, but it takes an extra two seconds to do, but it does take some time. Make sure you get down the hallway with at least blue shields, because you're going to need it. Once you are down this hallway further, you take a left and a right, and there's the shotgun uh, flood. Make sure you eliminate them. And then when I get out this doorway, I take a sharp left and a sharp right. That kind of dodges the container and also just throws my body right against the, the pillar, and that pillar can lead me down to the next level, and I can just continue walking forward towards the Banshees. Important thing to note, when you fall, make sure you crouch at the end of it. That kind of eliminates some of your damage that you might take from fall damage. And it may save you at the end if you're under a lot of attack from the other enemies up top. So once you get down here, all you gotta do is wait for the Banshee to come in. You back smack the Elite and you get inside the Banshee and the mission is complete. And I did this mission in 1 minute and 56 seconds. And that's how I did it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them if you have any questions or anything along those lines.